everyone, it is John and the producer. Hello, mister. How are we going today? He's being very quiet. Yes, he says, Dad, he says, I was just starting to get comfy on your lap. Yes, it's been, it's still warm, still warm here in Brisbane. So it's, uh, he's a very tired, tuckered out pup. So I put some, put some food out on the table at uh, midday. I forgot all about forgot about what I was cooking for tea tonight and uh, and it hasn't defrosted so I think we're having I think we're going up the up to the shops to buy a chook I think oh oh that woke you up didn't it sorry he likes his chook he likes to go for a walk up to the uh, up to the shop because he uh, he gets a lot of attention which is lovely it's it's amazing the 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 number of lovely ladies and children I shouldn't say children, but certainly the lovely, lovely ladies that like, um, like the little man. Oh, there's nothing wrong. Sorry, I'll take that back. Children are quite good as well. I'm just not wanting you to think that I'm a pedophile or something trying to lure people in by having, having a cute dog. Well, might be trying to lure lovely single ladies, perhaps, but uh, that might be about the only thing that I'd be trying to lure. But um, yeah, so he's uh, he's going to have chicken today. But look, I've, um, as usual, I'm so good at digressing from what it is that I want to talk about. Today's video is um, one of the, uh, one of my viewers, one of my subscribers um, made a point about um, World of Darkness. And I said, oh, look, the only thing I've got is, um, is this, which is Vampire the Masquerade. This was the first one um, that I started to uh, get into and that was back in I think 90 I think this was 91 the rest of the video will tell you more details as I go through but all this is doing is showing you my collection of um, Vampire the Masquerade and this is uh, I think all the first edition material and uh, I've uh, been yes the producer's got Pardon me, the producer's gotten off my lap now so I can get a little more comfortable. But yeah, it's a, um, it is quite a simple system, die 10, and it works on successes. And uh, that's about as much as I can remember. I had a quick look through, had a quick look through here. And, uh, you know, they were the seven, they were the seven vampire clans and, uh, and things like that. So, very much influenced, obviously, by Anne Rice's um, vampire uh, books. Uh, so that was, in my opinion, anyway, I could be wrong. People may may see other influences, but certainly Anne Rice was very much um, starting to become very popular within the community, and we started to see more and more um, horror-related uh, role-playing games hit the market. Certainly certainly White Wolf brought us things like um, Fae, it brought um, Mage and Werewolf I think. Not too sure if there are any others but uh, look from from that but look I could waffle on for ages but let's go and have a look at what else I've got to say. Hello everyone it is John and today we are just looking at my Vampire the Masquerade, which is, I believe, now called um, World of Darkness or A World of Darkness. I can't remember. Um, but one of my viewers on one of my uh, previous uh, vlogs uh, made reference to it. And I thought, I must go have a look at it again and just see what the heck I've got. Now, <coughs> pardon me, admittedly, all my stuff is from the very beginning or from the early days. So, you know, this was the, uh, this is what started it all off before I think we started to head down the route of, um, I think there was, uh, there was uh, werewolves, there was mage, there was, I think there was even one for fairies. I can't quite remember now, but uh, this was the main one that I have, and I guess what I have here is what I would probably run with if I was going to do anything. But 
the uh, artwork in here is um, I guess consistent throughout most of the books and uh, it runs on a die 10 and the number of successes that you obtain I think is the is the main uh, mechanism with regards to this game but that was the first edition book that I got this came out in um, good question when did this come out 1991 yeah, so 1991 this one came out and it was I think at about the same time that Anne Rice's um, Vampire Lestat started to become more noticed and I can see certainly within most of these works um, a fairly heavy influence from her um, her writing and her I guess uh, uh, storytelling that seems to be evident within these within this line of books but anyway that was it so vampire that was the first edition that I got so I do apologize for the glee one day I may have a professional studio and this was the second edition and this one here came out in 1992 so it didn't take long was this the second edition or was this just a hardcover version look I can't recall as I said I have not probably touched this game since the 90s so that's you know 30 <laughs> oh god 30 odd years ago but I just thought I'll share with you the collection that I have there was uh, this one here which was uh, children of the Inquisition and it dealt with uh, the who's who so you had Vlad Tepes and uh, other sort of noted that was actually the one thing I did like about most of this um, uh, series was that uh, who they decided would and wouldn't be vampires and uh, I think back in the 1940s I was writing an Australian supplement or I, was try I was writing my own Australian version of um, of the world of darkness down under and uh, I was having a lot of fun choosing who and who who and who would not be I guess part of the damned but these are some of the others that I picked up. So there was the storytelling, uh, the storyteller's handbook that came out in um, '92 again. So there was the storyteller's handbook and the player's handbook. So I must admit that these, um, the works from White Wolf, uh, came out very, very quickly with regards to. Uh, to their material so that was the player's guide again artwork is consistent pretty much throughout most of this period so they were two good books then the all-important ones that were needed were if you were dealing with a specific uh, vampire clan so I've got the seven main ones from the book so we had the vent Ventru, the Tremere, Toreador, the Nosferatu, the Malkavians, Gangrels, and then the Bruja. So uh, I, for myself, really did enjoy the material that White Wolf produced in regards to these supplements they were in themselves almost you know uh, entertainment in themselves even if you never played the game so uh, just trying to work out can I get rid of that no I'm not going to get rid of the glare am I so I do apologize then we had a spin-off they had the mummy because once again Anne Rice I can see that they were uh, um, influenced fairly heavily by her works so because i quite liked the story the mummy and i don't know if they ever did another if she ever wrote another one i must go have an investigate now that's made me curious they did a um a screen and look i'll tell you what this is the most pathetic screen i've sadly would have to say it's almost on par to some really cheap 
cheap ones that I've seen from some other some other systems but look this will blow away as soon as there's a you know if the uh, if the storyteller decided to have a good cough or a sneeze behind his screen that would just <laughs> literally fall over but uh, came with a uh, a plot in there so that was a uh, that was that one, which I might put these off to the side so that I'm not getting so much glare and you can still see what's what's out. So um, so that was the mummy, that was the screen. Then they had some source books. So we had... Um, so this brought in, I think, that, that whole title of The World of Darkness. And, uh, and this was the beginning of the source books. So again, look, as I said, I've not touched this since the 90s. So, uh, will it make me go back and have a look? I suppose so, but I don't find a lot of people amongst the, the people I know who have an interest in wanting to play a vampire storytelling um, series, which is, uh, which is a pity, because I think the, the role-playing system itself is fairly robust. So, then I picked up Chicago. So, yeah, that was... Chicago and then Milwaukee. So it was interesting in the fact that they didn't at that stage choose well-known locations, I think, from memory. Then we had the Sabbat. Player's Guide to the Sabbat. I think that must have been uh, with the... Um, I can't remember. What were they? Were they another... They must have been another... Uh, sector Diabolosus. There might be another. I can't remember now. I'd have to go back and have a good read. But uh, they did at least keep consistency with their uh, with their material. So Anarchus. So when was this one produced? As a matter of curiosity, just seeing how much time is progressing here. Um, 1993. So I think 1994 might have been when I either stopped or got sucked into other other. So what's that one? The Succubus Club. And uh, then we had the Hunters Hunted. So that introduced, I believe, Hunters into the gave you the information there, which was which was quite good. So rather happy with those. And what am I doing? All of a sudden now I'm just getting nothing but glare on... Ah, oh, there we go. It's added glare. So there's that. And then then there were these these ones here which were just adventures, if we'd like to call it that. I think they call them a story. So Ashes to Ashes, Alien Hunger, Blood Bond. And what's that? Awakening. Diablier, Mexico. So, but yeah. Anyway, there you go, everybody. That is my um, my small collection of the vampire vampire the masquerade. And uh, as you can see, I was quite captivated. I really liked it in its time. Certainly, the um, the amount of detail that they put into creating the world was uh, was really really good. So I thank very much the individual who made me go and have a look at my uh, my World of Darkness. There's certainly some other. I've just had a look. There's other things for World of Darkness on my on my shelf, but uh, I might share them another day. So look, thank you everybody for watching. Till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.